family. Hey. <laughs> What's up with it? What it look like? What it do? <laughs> hey. All right. Today is the 7th of April, 2017, and it is 11.41 in the a.m. And family, I came in with my heart a little full right now. Yeah. I, uh, over the weekend, I went to Auntie Fee's, uh, home going services. And when I tell you that it was so emotional. So that is what this video right here is about. And if this is not what you want to watch on the day, then therefore come back in a few more minutes and then I'll be talking about some other shit in just a minute. You know, but right now I got to give it up to my girl motherfucking Felicia Odell, baby. And give her her, you know, her minutes and her time, you know, and show a little homage and, and all that type of stuff. And uh, so in a few more minutes, I am going to be talking about something else. But if you want to just sit in on this right here and, you know, and, and this don't bother you in that way, I understand some people really don't do funerals like that. And I totally understand that. Um, um, so I'm just gonna, you know, give you guys a little bit of recap on how it went and, um, uh, my experience that Saturday and how it went down for me. Um, so this is what we talking about. So, uh, Clyde, we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna kick nobody out. Everybody welcome to come in this motherfucker and kick it with us if they want to. If this ain't your thing, then do it moving. It's no problem with me. You know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. So, at any rate, though, but, uh, yeah, family, um, I had, um, I didn't give mention of it last week when I did the videos um, because the family hadn't totally posted um, the uh, specifics about the, the services. So I didn't, I didn't post anything. Those things were up in the air, you know, but, um, well, well, not up in the air, but in the air. Um, but it just wasn't brought on to YouTube or Facebook and all that. And it just wasn't my place. So, then therefore, I just kind of, you know, fell back on that. And, you know, Auntie just showed up. You know, I knew that it was something that I was not going to miss. I didn't want to miss it for nothing. Um, first, let me give you guys a little bit of a, a background on how I... Um, was introduced to Auntie Fee and, you know, the relationship that I shared with her. Um, <clears throat> first off, uh, <laughs> where do I begin? <laughs> uh, I was getting inbox messages. People were sending me messages. Oh, are you related to uh, Auntie Fay? So it was always Auntie Fay, and even still. You know, sometimes I catch myself because I'll say Auntie Faye. You know, like my kids was for it was so long. They're saying, Auntie Faye, Mama, did you see the video Auntie Faye did? Or Auntie Faye was frying bread, you know, and whatever, you know. But they would always say Auntie Faye. So we would go between Auntie Faye, Auntie Fee, but, you know, it's actually Auntie Fee, F-E-E. -E. And to her nearest and dearest, they called her Fee Fee. Um, and her name was actually Felicia O'Dell, Arlene O'Dell. This is her uh, obituary here. And family, let me tell you something. So I'm going to go just through it page by page so you guys can get a little gamda about it. Um, that particular Saturday, um, this past Saturday, first, uh, Friday, I'd asked Bay if he would take me to the services. I knew that the traffic would be bad and parking would be bad. So I asked if he would take me. So then, therefore, you know, he could sit in, 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 in the truck or sit in the car and just, you know, um, wait until after I, you know, at least go in and sign the book or, you know, or go with me to the services or whatever the case. But I knew it was going to be mayhem once getting there and trying to get parked and everything. You know, he doesn't really do funerals like that. So he was like, babe, I don't know. I don't know if I could really, I don't know if I can really handle it, you know. So I really didn't push the issue with him on going with me because that was his position and I just respected that. And so Saturday morning I had woke up. I had tossed and turned half the night. I was just, I was like, oh my God, how am I going to handle this, you know. And uh, so I tossed and turned half the night. I got up that morning, and the services was supposed to be at 11 o'clock, so I was like, 
I was like, well, babe, at least just draw me up there and in there for, um, I don't have to be worried about parking and all that. And so, but I didn't want to go back and forth with him. I knew his position. So I was like, fuck it. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going to go do this regardless. Whether or not I got to sit outside in my car, I'm just going to have to do that. But I'm not going to allow, you know, her home go going to go on and, you know, I not go and show my respects and my condolences. So, anyway, I got down there. It was on Broadway, uh, 1500 Broadway. And so, I really didn't know Broadway like that. So, I had put it in the navigation system, but I kind of knew Broadway because, uh, Broadway is the shit when you trying to go and, you know what I'm saying, get your little bit this on the You know what I mean? So, uh, lately I've been finding that on my app, I noticed some side. Sorry about that family shit. Sorry about that. The battery had went out in this motherfucker and I was, I was on the road. But I'm going to stick right there because I know y'all probably want to know, well, what's up with Broadway? But first, before I start talking about Broadway, I also want to say that this ain't got nothing to do with my motherfucking auntie or where her services was. And, you know, the, the place where her services was, well, I think it was called Paradise something. Very, very beautiful place. So please don't get it misconstrued or get it fucked up and have me have some motherfucker in the background. Oh, she's saying that Broadway is on some bullshit. Nah, I ain't, I ain't saying none of that. I'm just saying, you know, further down Broadway. Let's put it that way. Further down Broadway. Okay, as you get close to Imperial Highway and all that old type of shit up there, all through the, you know, South Central L.A., it's like, you know, right in the middle. Well, on uh, Weed Maps, you know what I'm saying, uh, excuse me, uh, that's, it's a lot of dispensaries on that, on that block. So, you know, right now, Harvest is not in for me. So, you know, right now, you know, I got to, you know what I'm saying, I got to go, you know, buy my medicinal. But, you know, until harvest come in, that's what's happening. But at any rate, that's how I end up knowing Broadway. I didn't know shit about Broadway until about, and all this time that y'all know, I'm straight out of Compton. But, you know, I lived more towards Atlantic, Alondra, you know, between Compton Boulevard, Long Beach Boulevard, you know, over there in that area. So I don't really know that part of Los Angeles. I don't know that part. But Baby knows that part of L.A. So that's like where all his kin folks and all his people and all that shit and all of them live over there. So then therefore, when I'm rolling with him, he know Broadway, Vermont, all that Figaro, all the motherfucking blocks up through there. Imperial Highway and Manchester and Slauson. Baby know all that. But uh, it's new to me because it's like shit. Once I go to Golden Bird off of Western, between Manchester and Florence, I don't fuck with it no more. Now, now, I will go down to Crenshaw, I'll go get me some fish and shit. I know y'all like, wait a minute, hold on. Oh, we talking about our motherfucking auntie's home going, or we talking about your motherfucking ass lollygagging in L.A. Well, you know, I'm just saying, you know, some of y'all that's watching this, y'all don't know L.A. like that. I really don't, even though I'm from Compton and all that kind of stuff, but I didn't know some of these blocks and, you know, how it got down and all that old type of shit. So, I'm just like, man, you know, anyway. So... But anyway, my auntie's services were further down um, Broadway. Matter of fact, 5100 Broadway is where it was. And so uh, it took me, when I got off the freeway, and I took, in which I could have stayed on the 110 freeway, but I wouldn't have known what exit to get off of. Because I'm used to the beginning part of Broadway. You know, I'm not used to, but, you know, I frequented that part up there, you know, where all the dispensaries and all that bullshit and all that, you know what I'm saying, whatever, whatever twist you on, nigga, Broadway is the motherfucking spot, okay? So, then therefore, I know the beginning of Broadway, but going down further, you know, I wasn't versed, so I was like, man, but if I would have known that, I could have stayed on the freeway and then got off further down past um, Manchester, past Lawson, and all that, back down, further down, further down, that way. Well, um, 
I got off the freeway and I was like, man, you know, because it was cars everywhere. Motherfuckers was just parked all up and down the streets. I was like, damn, I could not find a parking spot for nothing in the motherfucking world. Do you understand me? It took me at least one hour to find a parking spot. And it, and I got lucky on that because I was circling, I was circling the, uh, the, the mortuary, the, the church, right? I was circling that. I go up Broadway. I come back. I go over there by the freeway, man. I was going up and down streets. This, this, this. Parking enforcement was out there giving tickets. Where the on um, Broadway, the bus route, where the bus is supposed to stop at, all that shit was just full of cars. To whereas the bus couldn't stop and let motherfuckers off. So motherfuckers was getting off the bus, going to the funeral way down the street. Motherfuckers was walking in their goddamn heels and motherfucking black veil and shit. I was like, man, I couldn't go to auntie services in black. I just couldn't do it. Now there was there was some people that did and then there was a lot of people that didn't. But as for me, I came in like a motherfucker called me a snow cone. That motherfucker's like, uh oh, look at this motherfucking snow cone walking up. Hi Easter Bunny. Man, cause I had on where's my dress at? Hold on, let me see. Hold on, y'all, let me show you. Hold on, let me show you what I wore to the uh motherfucking what you call it. Okay. You see, I haven't even emptied my bag yet. This is my um, luggage that, you know, this is my bag. This is my Louis Vuitton keep all. Is it a keep all? 55? I think this is the keep all 55, I think. And this is what I carry my, um, you know, my stuff in. Like, you know, when I go to, to the weekend with Bay or whatever. So, at any rate, but I'm going to show y'all the dress that I wore. Because I was like, man, I cannot wear no um, black. You know what I mean? I'm just not going to be able to do it. So, I end up wearing <clears throat> this dress right here. A little strapless, little number. You know what I'm saying? Let's do it this way. This, I end up wearing this dress. And it's really, 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 really long. Okay, so I had that on, had my little heels on. And that's what I rock to the uh, services. And uh, so... But people was walking from down the street. People was getting dropped off, all that kind of stuff. People was bringing Uber, Lyft, all that to the services. So when I finally got parked, I had circled around and I had saw this little car. And I was like, damn, if they back up a little bit, my car can fit right there too. You know, because it was like this motherfucker was just in the middle of a parking spot that that, that could have clearly been two spots. So I circled around a couple of times and I came back and it was an expedition park right there, white one. So I was like, oh, man, just so happened I went up the way and now came back. That motherfucker was gone. That was my spot right there. I circled around a couple of more motherfucking times. And how about me coming up that same on 51st Street? I was coming up 51st Street right before you get to um, Broadway, between Broadway and, and the 110 Freeway. I was in that little block right there with the little apartment complex, like a senior citizen complex or whatever that building is right there on the corner on the right. Well, I'm coming towards that way with the with the church and the building on the right and all that old type shit. So, what bound would that be? I'm going eastbound. I guess I'm going eastbound on 51st. So, I'm going up the street and I look to my motherfucking right. I mean, to my left where the goddamn the, the car was parked that was taking up both spots. And then I come back. Now, the exposition is fucking it up. Man, how about it was nothing right there? It was nothing right there. Babe, babe, when I tell you I hooked up. U-turn, Jag took me all the way around. No problem. I didn't give a fuck about all them people right there because they was like, bitch, you taking my spot. I was like, look, check this out. My auntie service has been going on about an hour now. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that. I'm going to take all this right here. Uh, this right here is all me. As long as I've been walk circling around this motherfucker, do you understand I'm about to take this parking spot right here? This is me. Baby, Jag, Cat took me around. You turn right in the middle of the, uh, uh, the, uh, 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 the, what's the name? In the middle of the street. I parked right there. Old girl came up, was ba da ba da da bitch, whatever. I went on, rolled, closed the sunroof on that motherfucker. Rolled my shit all the way up, bitch, whatever. Nigga, I'm right here. What's happening, though? $500 deductible, it's nothing. What's happening? Because this done already done got started. I'm trying to go up in here. I'm already in my feelings, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, okay, now... Ugh, I got to go head on. I need to put me one up. Because how in the fuck am I going to go in here and I'm all in my feelings? You know what I'm saying? Baby, didn't, don't worry about it. It was so many people out there 
putting one up. They had to because it was like, man, it was so emotional. It was, man, it was something else. It was so many people standing outside, you know, just talking all this kind of stuff. Motherfucker called me a snow cone or whatever because I had this right here on. And that motherfucker said... And then this other motherfucker, hey, Easter Bunny. Yeah, it was like, see what? This motherfucker look like a, some motherfucking cotton candy walking up in this motherfucker. You know, so the brothers was out there saying whatever they were saying. It was some sisters to the side. They was like, oh, oh my God, you're so-and-so. Oh, yeah, how are you? You know what I'm saying? So I took, took a couple pictures with you guys. Thank you, good looking out and all that kind of stuff. You know, good look. And so when I start start seeing the rotation going, they was like, "You want to get in, uh, nigga? I didn't know you, but nigga, I had to jump in. I had to. How in the fuck can I uh go up in there and I'm already hearing, you know, the choir and all that singing? I came in when they were singing, take me to the king. Okay, so that's to let you know where I was at. Now inside of the book, okay. Now I done already missed a gang of shit already. Okay." So I come in on Take Me to the King. Now, I missed the video presentation. I missed that part. So I came in about right here. So I come in the door. It's standing room only. It's just, man. And the energy in the room is thick. Okay? So I come in to usher, you know. And so she walks me straight down the middle. She was like, go straight down the middle. And I'm like, oh my God, because as soon as I walk through the double doors, it's like people standing on this side, people standing on this side. And I'm like, oh shit. <clears throat> you know, and already, believe it or not, I do get my share of anxiety when it's a whole bunch of people around and I'm coming in, you know, in the midst of whatever. So some people might be like, oh, okay, you be fashionably late or be on diva time or whatever or whatever, whatever. But... It's still an anxiety when you when I come into uh, an establishment or whatever or even walk in on a conversation and everybody doing what they're doing and I'm all of a sudden just walking in. Baby, my heart was pounding so motherfucking tough out my chest when I tell you. But I had this indica in me though. So <clears throat> I walk in and the lady was like, come on, ma'am, come on this way. And I was like, oh my God, young lady up here singing, take me to the king. Everybody hollering, crying. I walk in and I'm like, something something in my soul was like, you know, after I got halfway down the middle of the, uh, 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 the pews, bitch, maybe you ain't supposed to be really going this motherfucking way. You know what I mean? Maybe you ain't really supposed to be going this way. Now, she took me halfway. Then um, she turned around and went back. And then I'm just like, which way do I go? Where do you want me to go? I don't know if she thought that I was family coming straight in. I don't know what it was. But she sent me right to the front. And I'm like, okay, now which way do I go? So right there, Tavis was sitting right there to the left. Here's my auntie, full casket white. Flowers, beautiful. Take me to the king. I bring my ass in. She tell me come straight through the middle. Tavis right there. He's sitting by himself on this pew. Everybody in the room hollering. I'm like, okay, now what do I do? So I hook the right. I'm seeing the cameras rolling. I'm like, oh, my God. So, I mean, excuse me. I hook a left. So I walk right in front of Tavis, right in front of my auntie, right in that walkway part right there. I hook the left. And then, like, the third pew back, it was a little opening right there. So, and I'm like, you know, everybody looking at me, and I'm like, oh, shit. You know what I mean? My anxiety kicking in. Indica working on me, though. So I asked the young lady, I was like, well, anybody sitting here, whatever? Ah, uh, no, nah, you can't sit here. Ah, no, no, you can't sit I was like, wow, okay. First of all, <laughs> mama, I, you know, I was just trying to sit down, baby. She was like, nah, you can't sit here. Ah, uh, no, nah, uh, nah, I'm cool. Ah, uh, no, nah. I was like, wow, in front of everybody, right? So I was like, okay. Whatever, whatever she was on, I understand. Take me to the king. Everybody emotional. It's just, you know what I'm saying? Everybody in a bad way. So I was like, okay, mama, it's okay. So I was like, no, 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 it's cool. Because, of, you know, the other lady that was right there, she was like, you know, let her, you know, basically let her sit down right there. Oh, no, oh, no, I'm good. Oh, no, no. So I was like, okay, whatever, mama. Okay, look, check this out. I'm going to go all the way to the back. I'm going to lean up against the wall or something. Don't worry about it. You can have all this right here. It's nothing, baby. It's nothing. 
So I go ahead on, I walk on to the back, whatever. So here come the, another little usher lady. So she was like, well, come on, ma'am. So then I go to the back and I'm standing against like the wall or whatever. And there was like so many people back there. So then I'm like, you know, at this point, I'm, I'm sobbing because now here everybody, then Tavis walks out just in hysterics. That really had us all fucked up. Because when he walked out and he was just, I mean, you could just hear this baby from the whole other room. Now hear the choir, music, organ, all this, but you could still hear this baby. I was like, oh my God, Lord have mercy. I can't even do this. My soul is fucked up. So now I'm just fucked up. Okay. So um, the young lady, uh, 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 a gentleman comes. He brings me a seat. So I'm sitting down now. And so um, everybody is just fucked up. You know. So then the pastor comes. The pastor starts talking. And he starts talking to Tavis. Because they bring him back in. They sit him down. And I believe this is one of his. You know, I don't know if it was a family friend, brother or something. So he comes up to him, you know, he embraces him or whatever. So he sits over there with him. And at this point, everybody is fucked up. So the pastor started talking about Felicia and he was saying, you know, he was talking to Tavis and was talking about this pain. How this pain is familiar to a lot of us. And how you just, just you know, somehow or another you gain the strength to continue on. However way it go, I don't know how it go, baby. But it's familiar to me. Okay, auntie done been there too. I done been there too. I lost both of my parents. And it was just taking me back to, it took me back to my mama's services. It took me back to the smell in the room, the smell in the chapel, my mama's, how my mama looked. I mean, it just, man, it fucked me up. It took me back to my dad. It took me back to when I kissed my dad on how his skin felt. I, I, I began to feel how my mama felt because Damn it, I damn near laid in the motherfucking casket with my mama. I damn near left, fuck it. I'm getting in. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? And there was people pulling me back. Nigga, I was getting in that motherfucker. I didn't give a damn. I was like, nigga, I'm about to lay in this motherfucker with my mama right now. Take me now. Fuck it. Close it up. Lock it. I'm going in right now. That's how I was. Okay? So, you know, the pastor started. And it was giving, uh, it was bringing a calming to everybody in the room. You know, the, the message about... How you tend to gain this strength from somewhere. It just comes from somewhere. You don't know where it comes from. And this calming. And how you're not able to. You never get over it. Um, you just simply carry on with your life. You know. But you get stronger. And somehow or another you be begin to gain strength. Like my mama be around me so much. I get to losing shit and finding shit. And I be like oh thank you mama. You know what I'm saying? I lose shit and shit will just, you know, or some lights and shit will get the flickering or different things or, you know, different stuff get to happening. And, you know, I'll be like, oh, thank you, mama. Just, you know, whatever. Somebody's calling me, but I ain't got time. I can't do it right now. Okay. So, uh, then shortly after that, then he calls. I goes to the bathroom after that. I was like, man, I got the hot man. Because my bladder was already pulsating. You know, I had driven all this length of distance and I hadn't used the bathroom. So I was like, man, my bladder was doing this. So I go to the bathroom and while I'm in there, some other ladies came in. They was asking everybody, asking the ladies in there, did they get a, a obituary? And so one lady was talking about, she said, well, did you see that woman? She took about 10 of them and so-and-so took about three and people was taking more than one and all of this and this. And they were saying that they just want one. And I was like, shit, I just want one too. I just want one. I just want one. I don't want two or three. I ain't trying to put them on eBay or whatever these motherfuckers was doing with all these obituaries. But people was taking more than one, apparently. But they did this before I had even gotten there. Now, mind you, I already came in at... 12-something. Okay, it started at 11. I came in at 12-something. So, uh, I was saying, I just want one. So, I get back to my seat. And when I get back, then here comes Usher Lady. And so, she, she, leans, she comes to my ear and says something. But I couldn't make out what she was saying because it was loud in there. And so, um, so, she grabbed me by the hand. She took, she took me out. 
So we go out to the lobby, and so she takes me out, and she takes me out to this gentleman, and so he is like, excuse me, I saw you when you came in. I knew you was running a little late. He was saying, my name is so-and-so. I, you know, excuse me. I don't want to be disrespectful or, you know, because I, I totally don't. I was in my feelings, okay? But you had handed me, you handed me your card, and you handed me this. And when I tell you, I thank you so, 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 so much. You saw me, do, apparently he had seen me circling because, I mean, you know, now that I know, uh, I don't want to say too much, but now that I know and I know who you are and everything, I know you had seen me circling around and everything. And you know that I was late and all that kind of stuff and I was still trying to get in there and show my respects to Auntie. You saw me. I appreciate you. I appreciate you for giving me this. You know, and here, everybody, this was one of the hottest things going, okay? People was, like, literally to the point of trying to buy them, okay? And when the usher came and got me, and she said something to my ear, I don't know what she said, because I couldn't make out what she said, but then she had took my hand, walked me out, walked me out of the chapel and out the double doors outside, and then it was you. And I just thank you for this. I do. I thank you for it. I know that I hadn't called or texted you or any of that. I didn't do any of that. Um, um, but I just want to say right now that I thank you so much for this. I just thank you for it. And um, it just brought tears to my eyes. You don't even understand. Because here it was so many people inside that wanted one. And they were like, oh, we just want one. We just want one. And then the pastor was saying that they were out. And he was saying... That, you know, um, that they was going to put it on, I guess, the website or put it on Facebook or something like that, page by page, where people can see it. But they had ran out of them, and you you blessed me with one, and bae, bae, let me tell you something. I thank you so, so much. So, when I um, go back in, in a matter of a few minutes, they started having the, the uh, viewing procession. And so, um, I was on the left-hand side of the chapel, and that's where they started from. But I was all the way in the back. They started from the front. And so, um, as it went through the pews, and then I was at the end, and, you know, I came through, and this and that. And um, they were saying, after you viewed the body, then to just go outside, go to your cars, and go. Because there were so many people. Excuse me. And they didn't want people loitering around, standing around, and all that kind of stuff. They wanted people to, you know, especially if you wasn't um, somehow linked to the family or whatever or whatever. They wanted you to just get in your vehicles and leave. Excuse me. So, um, after I circled around, <laughs> and um, I walked out of the chapel, and then at that point, you know, hi, how you doing? You know, and I was meeting different people and taking pictures with you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for the love and all that kinds of stuff. So I was out there for a little bit, and then we proceeded on to go to the burial. That is when um, I went on Facebook Live and I showed you guys, you know, respectfully what I could. I did not do a video about the services. I didn't do any of that because, you know, just out of respect, um, for the family, you know what I'm saying? Just out of respect, I just didn't. But at the burial, it was a lot going on. And especially when um, the uh, the little, uh, what do you call it? Came to dug the hole for the pool when I was getting the pool put in. The, the tractor truck, the, hi, I can't think of the name of it right now. The uh, bobcat. So when the bobcat began to, to uh, lift the dirt on there, at that point, everybody just lost it. So I was like, you know what, before that, though, I, I couldn't take it anymore. So I had went back, I was walking back to my car, and um, that's when I had went on live with you guys, and so I was just sharing a little bit with you guys, and I was in my feelings at that time. So I also thank you guys for the love. Um, my uh, boy, Michael Bentley, he called me on the phone, um, and a few different people called me and sent me messages and whatnot of strength because I just could not take it no more. I was just, it was just a lot. You know, it was just a lot, man. It was a lot. And I just want to say to the family that, you know, you guys were so beautiful, so sweet to me. Um, I had got the invite to go to the repast. And uh, 
one gentleman had given me the address because I didn't even know how to get there. So I was like, okay, well, you know, I don't even know where to go or whatever. And so, um, but I ended up not going there. I ended up not going. I ended up, you know, going and, you know, and, and, and doing some other things. But, um, but still, you guys were so wonderful, so sweet, so welcoming to me. Um, a lot of my aunties, uh, uh, friends, family, you guys were just so, just good people, just good people, it was just, it was like I was with family, I was, I was literally with family, y'all was cool as shit to me, and I'm just, I'm just, uh, just in, in homage of my auntie and what she brought to this platform, and the realness, and the laughter, and, and all that kinds of stuff, baby, I mean, you did it, you came on this platform and you fucked it up. I mean, you just, you did your thing. You did your thing 100. You know, you just kept the shit real. This is who I am. This is what's happening. This is my past. This is what I've been through. But this is right here where I'm going. This is what's happening right now, though. Man. You know, and, and everybody was talking about so many different dishes. And they was talking about so much food. And I'm telling you, I was going to the repast. I was. But my dude was like, look, check this out. Uh, uh, what's going on right now? <laughs> To be perfectly honest with you, he got the straight trip. And so I was like, okay. And especially when I was like, babe, this is where the repast going to be at. Oh, what? Oh, hell. I was like, well, baby, why don't you come and go with me? Let's go to the repast and stuff. You know, everybody going on. You know they're going to be partying at that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Let's go put one up, party with our people. Babe was like, nah, we ain't, we ain't going to be able to do that. Nah, we ain't going to be able to do that. You know, he real jealous. Let me just go and say that part. <laughs> He's very, 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 very jealous. Jealous that I'm not even accustomed to. I'm not even accustomed to that jealous and that type of territorialness. But, you know, it is what it is. So that's one reason why I did not show up there. But I still, um, the rest of it was just so beautiful. Um, shout out to my girl work for uh, 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 TMZ. I did see you. I saw um, me and you was pretty much trying to trying to catch up with everybody to go to the burial. We was all out of compliance, but we had our hazards on. We had our lights on. She was rolling her motherfucking Porsche, bad as a motherfucker. And baby, we was going through that motherfucking traffic. We was going to Florence. And so she was like, shit, I was like, well, shit, I'm following you, shit. Because I didn't know where the fuck it was going to be at. But but we knew that we had to follow everybody. But everybody was just, man, at first it was just one line, and then the line just went that way, and people in this line, this line. Some motherfuckers were stopping off to get gas. Motherfuckers that stopped off got something to eat. Fuck the line up. I was like, wow, how do I keep up? So me and her just kind of stuck together, and she was like, look, check. she was like, she rolled next to me, she's like, Follow me. I was like, shit, all right, I got you. So I just followed her. Me and her just ended up there, and, man, it was just a beautiful day. It was a beautiful day, an emotional day, and, you know, thank you for allowing me to just share just a little bit of that moment, and um, I just want to say thank you. Um, family, um, I'm going to come back on in a minute. It's 12-something right now, but I got some other shit to do. I'm going to run my son to work, and I got I need to go get me something cold to drink and all that old type of shit. Orange Bang, wait. No, wait a minute. Now, hold on. They got this new drink, though. A.M. P.M. off the chain. I got that motherfucker yesterday. It was guava and strawberry or some shit. Man, hey, I got to go get me one of them. And so I'm going to come on here, and we're going to talk about this shit one more again. Not this right here. My auntie, may she rest in peace. Um, but we're going to talk about some other shit and some other shit, can we? Can we do that thing or not? I'm just saying, though. I'll be back in a minute. Deuces. Love you guys. Love you guys for watching. Bye, auntie. Tavis, we family, baby. That's what's happening. All y'all, we family. Y'all treated me with so much love. Baby, I ain't got nothing but love for you. On that note, I'm gone. Out.